Hey guys, welcome to another video for Raphael or Raphael N that is Redmi K20 Pro also known as the Mi 90 Pro. So many names for a phone. Anyways, excited over here because we have yet another build of Pixel experience. Unfortunately, we cannot live stream yet, but it's just a matter of three, four days. So we are going to do a quick review. I'm using this particular update since yesterday and I am excited because it's, it's a good build and uh, let's see the quick review how it goes. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us and chat with a like-minded more than a thousand people. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, so as always, these quick previews is all that is coming these days. But as I said earlier as well and in my previous videos, 20 seconds onwards, you will have two uploads a day and you will have live streams and you'll have a lot of fun. So bear with me while I travel. Now, Pixel Experience updated on the 16th of July 2021. You have a regular edition and a plus edition. And if you have a look at the change log over here, this is the change log, right? So it says source change log, July security patch, updated translations, improved face unlock, minor bug fixes, 48 megapixel working in Gcam without Majisk module. So that's great. Kernel updated to version 4.14.239. IO wrap removed due to excessive battery usage, so better battery life. Blobs updated from Rafael user, etc, etc. So that's probably latest blobs. Graphics blobs updated, so you should have better or maybe slightly differences gaming, minor bug fixes. Due to bugs, app lock has been removed from plus variant and it will be back soon. So that's the change log for you. Right? It does say always make an Android backup before making any major changes on your device. Be safe, G apps included. Do not do not flash G apps. The ROM uses OSS vendor and Yap kernel. Uh, yeah, I'm a little confused there because if I remember correctly, in the previous build of Pixel Experience for the K20 Pro, these guys had their own kernel. So uh, maybe they have a reason to do that. Device blobs have been updated to Android 11, but use Android 10 firmware for now, else your recovery will be lost. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to make an install video for this particular version of Pixel Experience, but let's go ahead and talk about the real deal. This, you know, ROM almost transforms your device into a Pixel device, to be very, very honest, because you do get a very, very Pixel-esque home screen when you boot for the first time to the left you do have google discover from the top to bottom you do have your notification or quick tiles and over here you do have your app drawer if you press and hold over here and go to home settings you do have your regular pixel experience launcher which has some amount of customization not a hell lot but you can make do with what you have and the app drawer is pretty, pretty smooth. Now remember, this is a phone which comes with a 60 Hertz display. So don't expect Poco X3 Pro level of smoothness at all. But I'll tell you this, this is one of the smoother ROMs that I have used on this particular device and it runs very, very smooth. Now, apart from this, if you ask me in daily usage, safety net passes out of the box, Wildwine L1, absolutely fine. So this ROM not only blows everything out of the water when it comes to smoothness and the look now i am someone who likes the look and feel of aosp roms if you are someone who likes the look and feel of i don't know miui roms then then maybe you can use a theme or a different launcher but that's not what we are here for you do have your weather widget on the home screen and as they have clearly mentioned if you use gcam the 48 megapixel mode is working as well so i believe your camera needs are taken care of as well now if you see over here i do have accu battery bgmi call of duty so yes i have been i have been using it as my personal device for a couple of days with this particular rom and i'll tell you this the performance is pretty satisfactory the battery life is not the best but it's still not the worst it's pretty doable it will take you through a complete day right you can see that i am on 20 percent right so if i click over here and go to battery usage you do see that i have been using the phone extensively right and if you see the screen usage has been one hour and five minutes now do remember that i'm in the state of rajasthan and if you're not from india this is a place where temperatures are normally 40 to 45 degrees celsius these days Hot temperature means the battery will go down that quicker. So 
if you live in a metro city like Mumbai or anywhere else or if you're in an air conditioned room most of the time your battery life will be better the fast charging has been spot on for me I've not had any issues at all now along with this the gestures are pretty smooth Google assistant or hey Google works like a charm all in all this pixel experience update builds up on the previous version wherein pixel experience all of a sudden for this device from you know being a ROM that is not for gamers went on to an all-rounder and I still stand by my verdict in this particular video because this is a quick initial impressions and I don't really have benchmark numbers for the because of the weather reasons over here but I will tell you this I did play BGMI I did play Call of Duty the gaming is absolutely spot on I've not had any issues at all the FOD is working as expected face unlock works as expected so if you want a ROM for your Rafael or K20 Pro which makes your phone look like I don't know a pixel device at least on the software part go ahead and flash this ROM and forget it you will enjoy your device let me know in the comment section what do you think about this quick update of pixel experience until the next one this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.